Hey guys, OSG here with the Tubers High Score recap for Space Mambo, which was my pick. Uh, so I want to choose something a little bit different than the normal arcade games that we play. So Space Mambo had been recommended to us on the Commodore 64 um, video that I did on on the shoot 'em ups, and I'd said that Catacus was the best shoot 'em up on the 8 bits, which somebody said no, Space Mambo was. I'd never played Space Mambo, and then when I checked it out, I realised that was just totally right. So I'd never completed this game before. I played maybe the first couple of levels, and I just thought that it being on the Tubers High Score Challenge was a good way to get some more time on the game. Anyway, we had 12 entries ranging from dying on level 1 to a couple of 1 credit completions. So let's get this on the road with Harold in 12th place. He had 43,400 points and he died on the first level boss. He actually had a pattern down for the boss, but then at the last minute just lost his rhythm and got caught off the arm. Next, in 11th place, we have Gold Kane with 91,400 points. So Gold surprised everybody in the recent World Cup, uh, finishing second. Um, but sadly he didn't come through for him on this game, but I think that was maybe down to him playing it on that online emulator and he couldn't get his control to work properly. 10th uh, place is taken by Lucas Rainford with 114,400 points. Um, Lucas, if I was your teacher at school, I would say needs to try harder, <laughs> expected more. Saying that, he died on one of the hardest parts of the game, which is the lift section on level 2. Where if you don't get lights, you just you just game goes spiraling out of control. Um, Beto Hawk is in ninth position with 125,400 points. Uh, so Beto Hawk also fell foul of a lift section on level two. Um, when I start playing games, I can normally tell where people are going to die, and I knew that level two lift section was going to be a place where we would lose a few people. Um, next up. In 8th place we have Tony Cruz, aka Electric Avenues, with 268,800 points. Now Tony was the only one on the list who, who actually used real hardware, because so, he's got a real MSX2. Um, and he died on the second hardest bit of the game, I would say, which is the first vertical section on level 4. Um, I, die, I died there loads myself uh, while practicing. Um, 7th place is taken by Acidonia 150 Reborn with 270,600. He also made it to level 4 and died at the first vertical section, which is a place that spawns you back to the start of the level with no pickups and it's it's a nightmare, it's, it's a struggle to recover from that position. So in 6th place we have Man Shovel um, with 289,600. He was the first one to get past the first vertical section on level 4 but sadly died before getting to the boss which I think if he had gotten to the boss I think he might have even completed because he seemed to know what he was doing on the game. Um, fifth place is taken by Novabug with 371,800 points. It was a late run due to other com commitments where he had and it's Novabug's definitely somebody who could have completed this so if he had more game time he would have completed this and it would have been another one credit completion. Um, it was a good run though. Um, he died on the level 5 boss, which is the hardest boss on the game as well. Uh, in 4th place we have Mark Blaster, scoring 461,400. Mark always gets his runs in early and I think if he'd taken a little bit more time, a couple of more goals, I think he would have cracked the game. Um, he died on the level 5 boss as well. Um, and once that's happened, you're in a world of hurt because you go all the way back to a stupid respawn point. It's a nightmare. Um, Zypho is in third position with 662,000... and that's it. Um, he made it all the way to level 7, which is only one level from the end. Out of all the levels, 7 is probably the one that caused me the most problems. Uh, once you die at the start of that level, it's almost impossible to recover because the, the first screen is you've got to get the top and bottom pods really to kill the, the enemies as you go in. Um, and next in second place, we have Big Juffa with a one credit completion with a score of 809,600. I'm sure that most people have realised over the last few months my entries have started getting better and I also won the World Cup 
I have to put this party down to Juffa coaching us. Um, he's truly like my Mr. Miyagi. Um, but sorry, Juffa, this time the student has become the master. Um, and now, in first place, we have me, OSG, with a one credit completion score of 921,200. Now, when I reached the end of this game, I realised that there was a major flaw in the rules because certain deaths in the game and certain respawn points um, could end you with a, a larger scores at the end. Uh, luckily for me, it was only me and Juffa completed it, so we didn't have no controversy with people saying, oh, I completed, but I didn't die so many times. Um, because it could have gotten messy, but it didn't, so that's it. Um, so, okay, that's it for this. Um, the next pick is Mark Blaster's choice, and he's picked the great arcade shooter Lightning Fighters, which is mega hard. Um, I'll catch you all on the next video. This is OSG, signing off.